So what do you think of my plan to rebuild the right? I don't mean the conservative party. They'll be fine. I mean, all of the things we've neglected for the past 10 years, the nonpartisan conservative infrastructure, everything from issue campaigns to student clubs on campus to public interest law firms to the media, the things that the left spent their time building up while they were out of power, now the left is back in power and they still have all their community organizations too. We've got neither. I know things look pretty bleak right now and they will for at least four years, maybe eight. Well, that gives us the time we need to build back up. I say let's get started. It's a huge job, but let's start with step one. The rebel will obviously be a key part of it. We need to give Canadians the other side of the story that the media party won't. And we need to highlight the good work being done by conservative activists who are out there. So I'm not going anywhere. We've got to build the rebel up even bigger. More shows, more videos, more reporters. That's my main job. But I want to do two other projects too. Over the years, I've started a few nonprofits. I want to revive two of them and give them new purpose. I want to build up the Joseph Howe Institute the conservative journalism nonprofit. I want to start a conservative journalism club at campuses across the country. I want to sponsor internships, both of the Rebel and other media too. I want to have an annual student journalism conference and an awards gala for the best conservative journalism in the country. And finally, I want to create an endowment fund to sponsor the kind of journalism other media won't do, like investigative journalism into liberal corruption, which you know is coming back hard. So that's the first project. I think it'll cost $250,000, including one full-time staffer, and the costs of the internships and the conference and the prize. My second main idea is what in Silicon Valley would be called a startup incubator. The goal would be to raise money to give it away to young conservatives with big plans. Most would be micro-grants, a few thousand dollars, maybe even a few hundred dollars. Anyone with an idea would apply for a grant, and every few months we'd sit down and review the applications and cut checks like we were venture capitalists financing a dot-com, except that we'd be social investors financing conservative NGOs. The rate of return would not be financial, it would be a political rate of return. We'd also help them with best practices, drafting corporate bylaws for them, helping with legal and accounting and insurance. Things that are important but probably too boring or maybe difficult for young activists, we'd do that, help them focus on the fun stuff, the good stuff. So for this, maybe one, time, one full-time staffer, plus a volunteer panel to review and approve the grants, Total budget for 2016, quarter million dollars, of which at least half would be given away. That's how the Left Wing Tides Foundation does it. They give away about 24 million bucks a year to Canadian leftists, last I checked. Let's start with 1% of that. So that's my plan. It's not a huge plan, but I think it helps get things going. Total budget for Joseph Howe Institute and for Canada is $500,000 for the next year. Total staff, two people, plus some volunteers. But over time, we'd plant a lot of seeds. Now, some wouldn't grow. Maybe even most wouldn't. But even if we just graduated half a dozen great conservative journalists a year and helped start half a dozen conservative NGOs a year, well, imagine what that might look like cumulatively by the year 2020 or 2025. What do you think? I'd love your help. I'd love your advice. And if you can afford it, I'd love for you to contribute financially. Go to www.rebuildtheright.ca. It seems like it'll take a journey of a thousand miles before conservatives win back government again. That's okay. I don't mind. If you want to join me on that journey, go to rebuildtheright.ca.